a friend and I ran errand. I sat in the passenger seat and started feeling panicky as she parked the car. While exiting the car, my heart sped up. I looked around to see if anyone had lost her. I held my breath until we entered the store. You see, we parked in accessible parking. My friend had an accessible parking pass for medical reasons. However, she didn't have a physically apparent disability. She didn't use a wheelchair. She didn't use a cane. She didn't use crutches. She didn't limp. In fact, she looked like a healthy human without any visible sign of disability. And our work as advocates for people with disability and accessibility. I know what happens when young and healthy looking humans park in an accessible parking spot. And it's not pretty. The official the unofficial accessible parking police can be downright awful when they don't see visible signs of a disability. Jeremy Andrew Davis, who co wrote the op ed, posted a social media video about accessible parking, Baker, and got over 3,000 comments. Clearly, it hit a nerve with the disability community. These comments capture many others like it. There are several things, common themes among the comments. The most commonly told stories of experiencing frequent harassment. I've been yelled a lot for using my plaque card, even though I have multiple disabilities. An employee of that store asked me a barrage of questions about why I used it. I have one leg, and I still get out of two because you're walking really good. You have a wheelchair. You don't need to park slow. You can roll to your car. Yes. Even people with apparent disabilities like a prosthetic limb or those who use the wheelchair get harassed. Many of the things that people shared told to how society is ill-informed about how disability can prevent and who needs accessible parking. From non-apparent disabilities to being told they're too young to be disabled to not understanding why accessibility is important beyond mobility. I've been told as a 22-year-old that I can't be in pain. I was diagnosed with MS right at 20. The amount of harassment I got was awful. I may look able going in, but after going in the store, getting back to the car looked a whole lot different. I'm autistic and a flight risk. Having access to disabled parking can stop me from running into the road to get to the car or my safe space. Then there are the naysayers who claim it's too easy to get an accessible parking pass. Quite the contrary. Doctors can lose their license for prescribing accessibility passes to people who don't need them. I work for a doctor, and he's given out maybe one per year. It takes a lot of documentation. It took my grandma 30 years to get her pass. She had cancer twice and couldn't walk long distance. She looked fine. I had major knee surgery with no ability to walk and couldn't get a pass. I had paralysis episodes, and when I have one, I physically can't get around without a chair, and I still don't qualify. With all the different kinds of harassment people experience, this often leads to those who need accessible parking to avoid using it. This is exactly why my husband, who has cancer, never uses a play card or the store wheelchair. Here's all the reasons why I'm not bothered getting a pass. Even with MS and hypermobility, I'd rather not deal with people making assumptions. My mom didn't even bother reapplying for a pass. 
because of people being so upset because she looks fine. She has rheumatoid arthritis. I can't use my path when I have my daughter because what if somebody comes for me and she sees it will end up in danger. We read or listen to that comment. Imagine having experienced such harassment that you don't feel comfortable using your path because it could put your family in danger. That's what people who qualify for accessible parking are up against. Just because the accessible parking spot icon is a wheelchair does not mean it's only for people who use the wheelchair. Many people with disabilities who don't use the wheelchair qualify. Most disabilities are not immediately apparent. Can you diagnose from fibromyalgia at a glance? Asleptic. Cancer. What about lupus, epilepsy, sarcoidosis, osteoporosis? complex regional pain syndrome, traumatic brain injury, diabetes, or multiple sclerosis. There are many diagnoses where a person qualifies for an accessible parking pass but looks healthy. Disabled people have been yelled at, stopped, cut out, given evil looks, and had their medical reality questioned. These reactions and comments uh, exactly why I was scared when my friend parked in accessible parking. Please don't harass people who use accessible parking and bathroom stalls. That person may be a cancer patient. Self-appointed policing does the opposite of helping disabled people. The best way to help is to go about your business and not say anything. Thank you. You're not taking it upon yourself to police accessible parking, bathroom, or accessibility, anything. And don't call the police. Crimes against people with disabilities are four times the right for people without disabilities, according to a, the U.S. Department of Justice. But that's a story for another day.